you've gone over my message to the head of the Philippines. Yeah, I'm not satisfied with it, and I'm uh, they're having a meeting, uh, Humphrey and Russ, right now uh, to review the question of what might be asked out there. The question really is whether Humphrey ought to put the, how hard he ought to put it to it morally. Your message doesn't say anything, but Vietnam is very important, and Humphrey will talk to you about it. And uh, the, uh, we had a contingent agreement from Mac and Miguel about 2,200 men in a construction battalion. They have a legislative problem in the exact shape of which is this appear to be in the order be. And the question really is whether Humphrey might not simply say to him privately, look, we're going to need fighting men from the Philippines, but I'm not here to break up your inauguration by giving you an ultimatum. But this is the thing that matters most to us. The Philippines, he's got a mess. He's got empty coffers and shooter problems. I think if you discuss Vietnam with uh, Humphrey in any way that he'd be in uh, every column in America in the morning. Yeah. I've cautioned the boy seven times, and uh, this morning every paper down here is full of all the traits he's going to propose and what all he's going to do. And I think it would be a mistake to try to tell this man that just as he's, uh, I treat him just like I treated Wilson when he came in, that uh, I, don't, I wouldn't be coming out there and tell him that he's got to win our war for us. I'd get him out there and I'd brag on him and say he's the greatest guy in the world. And we've all got interest out there. And then when I got him away, I'd have uh, uh, somebody tell him, uh, let Bill Blair take a letter in and say, now, you told us, uh, the Filipinos told us that uh, you'd come to our rescue after the elections. And uh, here it is. I would love for Humphrey to do this when he learned, but he just cannot learn. He just does not know. I saw Richard Wilson's had a lengthy interview with him today, and two, three more, and he is uh, giving out interviews now that, that he is really on top of the world situation because he saw some Japanese newspaper man, and that his image against Bobby Kennedy is not as bad as it, it, they say, and he's very defensive, and he's a fool. I told him he quit worrying about his own goddamn image and go to worrying about the world a little bit and get these hirelings away from him while we'll take care of his image. Well, we have to do it a little much in the That's right. But, uh, so I don't think it's wise to have him go out and, and make any proposition to anybody about anything. And I think Russ ought to say to him that uh, we, we haven't reached any conclusions on what they ought to do, that the best thing he ought to do is just say that Vietnam is important to that area of the world, and if we get licked there, we don't know what, how they'll stand up. Not a damn thing. When he asks him how many troops we want, say that's somebody you better talk to our ambassador about.